I'm bearded and bored. Today, we're gonna do something weird. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I can't read. I just said, yes, yeah, yeah. So, I was looking through my brewing supplies the other day just to see what I had left. And I have one of these um, one gallon small batch kits that I got from Northern Brewer a little while ago. This one's um, an Irish red. And I've done this one before, it's really good. But um, I wanted to do something a little bit different. In the Dark Tower, which I have not read. And I've also have not seen the movie yet. What I have seen is the trailer, and it's awesome. I do not shoot with my hand. I shoot with my mind. I do not kill with my gun. I kill with my heart. I've heard some kind of iffy things about it, like maybe it wasn't that good or whatever, but most of the Critique I heard for the movie was that it was, it didn't live up to the books. And that's usually just whining because most of the time a movie's not gonna live up to a book. So here's what we're gonna do. There's a drink, a fictional drink in the book called Graf. And Graf is basically hard apple cider beer or beer cider, it's a hybrid. Um, so it's got the barley and malt and hops and everything, but it's also got the main component of hard cider, which is apple juice. So I'm gonna watch the movie, and then when this is finished fermenting and it's ready to taste, I'm gonna review this Irish red apple graph and the movie at the same time. So. Um, there's lots of recipes for this online. I haven't seen this one and also I think this makes it a little bit more accessible for you if you want to try this one at home because it's a small batch. It's only going to be two gallons. It's a cheaper recipe so if you don't like it then, you know, you didn't waste too much money or time. But I have never tried graph. I've had hard cider and I've had beer but I haven't had both. I haven't had graph. So, what we're gonna do is first for you and me, we're gonna make graft together today. So let's do a little quick unboxing of the uh, Irish Red kit and I'll show you what it comes with. Here's the cool thing about these kits. They come with literally everything you need. There's instructions. Um, it's a partial grain brew, so it's not gonna, there's no mashing, so to speak. There's no complicated steps. These are, I like these kits because these are really accessible. They're very easy to do. Uh, when you're first starting out. And this is what I started with. So you got your grains. The grains go into a little sock and uh, you steep those in the water for about 10 minutes and then you just mix in your DME, your dried malt extract, and uh, boil that for about 45 minutes with your hops. It's got the yeast in there and if you want to bottle it, it uh, has these little sugar drops for uh, bottle carbonating. So uh, one thing that Whenever you're doing hard cider, you need some pectic enzyme. If you don't have pectic enzyme, you're gonna end up with a really hazy, um, hazy brew. The pectin in your cider starts to clump together and it, it'll just keep it hazy. It'll never drop out. Um, I'm also gonna throw in a little bit of yeast nutrient just because I wanna be sure that my, uh, my yeast is actually gonna, gonna be okay because like I said I've never done this combo before so I just want to make sure that I have everything going for me possible to make this successful. Um, one of the other things you see this bucket it's a two gallon bucket it's a perfect size and I got it for free when I went over to the grocery store to the bakery and I just asked them if they had any empty icing buckets usually they'll just give you these things for free and then I just drilled it out with a one inch uh, paddle bit and put in a spigot that I got from a homebrew shop and drilled it out with, I can't remember how big that hole is, but basically now I can put this little grommet in there down in the hole and that works perfectly for this. So you'll see it all set up when I get done. Let's get started. 
Since this is a one gallon batch of beer, you actually use a gallon and a quart of water so you have some boil off volume. So we got five quarts of water in there. Now that we got the fire lit, we're just gonna throw in our grain bag and let that steep in there while it's coming up to a boil. Once it comes up to a boil, we're gonna turn the fire off, add in our uh, dry malt extract and our hops, and then bring it back up to a boil for 45 minutes. So make sure you got your trusty spoon. So the grain bag's only been in here for five minutes and as you can see, it's already making the water nice and dark. And the purpose of this grain bag is not to uh, give sugars and you know break down starches like you would in a normal mash. This simplifies the process and basically you're just making a barley tea and this is going to give you a lot of the flavors and colors for the beer. Okay, so now that we have our grain bag out of there, I'm going to actually dump out the grain from that little sock and then throw the hops in there so that I can use that sock to keep the hop sediment out of the boil. Now that we're ready to do the boil proper, we're going to mix in all the dried malt extract before we actually bring it back up to a boil because we don't want this to scorch to the bottom of the pot. Alright, so the beer wort has been cooled, it finished. Now that we've got this all done, we got um, about a gallon of wort. Alright, so we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of pectic enzyme because the next thing going in is our apple juice. And then we're going to do some yeast nutrient to make sure that we've got just enough nutrient in there so that the yeast is happy and doesn't get stressed out. Because one of the things that comes along with stressed out yeast is a room full of fart smell, especially when you're doing uh, anything with apple juice. So we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. So let's just go ahead and get this juice in here. I'm gonna let it splash in here so that we can properly aerate the wort and get it nice and frothy. Now a lot of the uh, graph recipes that I've seen are 75% apple juice to 25% wort or lower. Sometimes it's 10% wort. What I haven't seen is I haven't seen a 50-50. And that's what I'm doing today. So we're doing 50% juice and 50% Irish red ale wort. We're using some Nottingham. Sanitized scissors, sanitized yeast packet. That's the one thing about beer, you don't want to contaminate it. I'm just going to let it slowly hydrate on the top here and work its way down. All right, so that's it. Stay tuned for the, uh, the review of this one. It'll be ready in about a month. So since the movie's already out, I'm going ahead and putting this video up now. I'll put the follow-up to review the graph and the movie in about a month, month and a half. We'll see how long it takes. And... Um, Stay tuned because I've got the uh, cream ale review coming up in just a few days. Also a surprise. There's going to be a surprise video with uh, a little sneaky, uh, little sneaky mystery that you have to figure out. So I just crossed 500 subscribers and I just wanted to say to anybody that's watching, anybody that's subscribed, you guys are awesome. I love all the comments that you guys get, all the questions that you ask. Uh, I know that a lot of you are here because of the uh, malted corn video. And if you're interested in that kind of stuff, stay tuned because I've got another project going with malted corn and I'm going to start posting those videos pretty soon. So that should be really interesting. I'm going to try a couple of different things with malting. All right, so thanks for watching this video of me make a fictional beverage from an awesome series. I'm going to start reading it, but uh, I'm going to watch the movie first and then I'll read the books. We'll see what happens. Oh, uh, the recipe for this one is down in the description below. Also the link for the uh, one gallon brew kit that I used, the Irish red kit that I used. Um, I'll put that down in the description too. If you want to watch the movie too, uh, I'll uh, put an Amazon link down in the description for you. And if you have any questions, post them in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do it now and then hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified whenever I post new content. Thanks for watching. I'll talk at you later.